I'm not surprised. Through the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC, Tinubu sells our precious oil to himself. Yes, you heard that right. Using his company in Malta, he buys Nigeria's crude oil at a ridiculously low price. But that's just the beginning. With his newly acquired Ajip Oil Company, Tinubu explores, extracts, and exports oil across the Niger Delta states from Ondo to Cross River. The oil flows out of Nigeria, but it doesn't end there. Once in Malta, Tinubu refines the oil and sells it back to Nigeria. But now, as an oil marketer through OVH Energy, also known as Owando, he buys it back at an exorbitant price. And guess who pays the bill? We do, the Nigerian public. It gets worse. Despite the official removal of oil subsidies, they're still being paid secretly. Tinubu is in essence paying himself subsidies. This isn't just corruption, it's an extraordinary level of financial exploitation. Even after Tinubu leaves office, his influence remains. Nigeria will continue without a functioning refinery, ensuring his oil monopoly stands strong. And the government? They'll still pay him for subsidies. Where are the pastors? Where are the ministers? Where are the people who supported Tinubu? Who still supports Tinubu? Well, all these are for the records. Just last year, Tinubu sold over $2 billion worth of petroleum products to Nigeria through his Malta refinery. This is a glimpse of our future if this scheme continues. And there's more. Tinubu will fight the Dangote refinery with everything he has. Why? Because if the Dangote refinery becomes operational, his multi-trillion Naira oil monopoly collapses. As a result, the price of petroleum products like fuel will keep skyrocketing, all while Tinubu continues to pay himself subsidies. Considering his age, it makes one wonder, what does he need all this money for? The answer is sheer greed. That is it. Sheer greed. The answer is sheer greed. But millions are dying because of one man's sheer greed. There is insecurity in the land because of one man's sheer greed. Terrible things are happening. Iniquities are bound in Nigeria because of one man's sheer greed. And this man is being supported by ministers of the gospel, by pastors. They are being supported by Christians and Muslims alike. It's a shame. We cannot allow our future to be exploited by the greed of one man. Our oil, our resources belong to us, the people. Stand up, speak out, and let's reclaim our nation's future.